what's going on guys once again welcome back to the channel this is asas studio where we talk about music production and photography tips and tutorials so today i have an awesome video for you also and if at all you have been supporting the channel one way or the other i want to say i appreciate because i've been seeing a lot of you know a lot of um um, as, uh, I've seen a lot of you know support from you all, so I want to say a very big thank you, thank you all. It makes the channel grow and makes me motivates me more. You guys are my motivation. Without you guys, there's no ASA Studio. So once again, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you're new and this is the first time you like the content I'll be sharing, and this is the first time you're watching this video, don't forget to you know subscribe and you know share these videos and like them and make comments about you know about what we do here in asas studio so let's dive into what we have for today i have a photo on the screen and this is capture one before i take my photos to um photoshop to you know create more editing uh to make more editing i like to ed like using capture one so but i just this is just a capture one tutorial so you know my workflow so let's see let's go into what we have now i will actually turn on the before and after so you see we have we've actually not you know edited anything so we just want to start editing so from the first thing i would like to use the white balance tool and also decrease the saturation right away because that is the first thing i'm actually seeing on the photo you can see that some on our clothes some places are just you know just too saturated on the clothes and i feel like this part is actually the color of the you know jacket and those jackets actually you know white and our face also is have some you know reddish you know skin tone like i said and the background also is actually brighter like the subject so we're just going to correct correct a lot of things so without much talk let's you know dive into it first of all i'm going to create a layer from this you want to create a new layer and just plus sign and this arrow drop that arrow so click on new um fill layer let's start with the fill layer so what we're going to do here is just to decrease the saturation a little bit okay let's not go to the saturation let's go to the white balance first so i'm going to go to the exposure yeah this is our exposure then go to the white balance panel and then i'm going to click on this you know eyedropper tool and boom so let's see what this is our white, you know, balance. And you can see the red feeling I'm actually, you know, talking about. So quickly, before and then after. You can see the jackets actually, you know, whiter now compared to before where we have, you know, it's kind of brown. So I feel like, yeah, there are some, you know, color bleeding to the photo. So this is our just our before and after. So let's just you know continue with the image. I'm also going to create another new fill layer, and then this time around I'm going to adjust the saturation of the jacket. So let's go to our saturate exposure, and then let's decrease the saturation, just like so, and then I'm going to increase the contrast. So we have the um, subject pop out more than the background i'm going to decrease the exposure okay so i guess increasing the exposure decreasing and increasing so let's increase the exposure to just a little bit brightness oh let's not touch the exposure let's you know use the brightness panel for that so i'm just going to decrease it by five and then increase the contrast just a little bit by six the saturation i'm going to bring it down just a little bit so let's turn it off and on so we have this and this before and then we have after so if you feel like oh we don't need you like this yellow thing so compared to before we've actually you know corrected the image so one thing we're also going to do is we want to you know correct the brightness of the jacket and this other side so i'm just going to create another new empty layer and this time around pick the magic tool brush and then i'm going to select these areas the jacket so and um, is actually going to you know select the jacket 
for us and what we want to do we want to you know increase the brightness so it's m on your keyboard m on your keyboard and see where it's been selected so let's just leave it that way let's see maybe we can actually select more on it so this is actually okay so let's go to the um, color two color panel and color editor panel or two so what we want to do i want to increase the brightness no we still have to come here so i dynamic so i guess yeah i dynamic let's increase the darker side just a little bit like so and then i'm going to increase the shadows so we have more just like that i'm going to decrease this just a little bit okay so we increase the dark and the shadow we're not taking it all the way up just to have a uniform you know flow so unlike before and then after we brought out the jacket so you can see that okay so let's continue with our you know editing and i feel like uh i feel like now we need some saturation on the jacket so since we have uniform um let's just try something let's see we need to decrease the brightness too yeah decrease the brightness just by three so as to match the face so this is before then decreasing the brightness just a little bit so we are not going to give it some saturation i guess and i don't want to decrease the saturation either but i guess it's not too saturated so we're going to leave it like that but let's focus more on the face this time so i'm going to click on new um, empty layer and then i'm going to select our face so the reason why i'm selecting our face i just want to give her the skin um, the real skin that let's just wait uh, till uh, capture one captures all so let's hit m on the keyboard and let's see where it's selected m the face has been selected all right so let's go to the color panel and then color editor so we can actually use the color balance but i'd like using the color balance for um let's see maybe we can actually do something mid tones Oh yeah, I guess I remember this in Photoshop. So I'm gonna hit M to hide the mask, and then we can go to use the color to. First of all, I'm going to just you know quickly do something. Yeah, go to the skin tone, and then I'm going to increase. Okay, no one has been selected. I just want. Let's see where we want the skin to look like. So I'm gonna click here on a cheek bone. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna spread it out, and then. Uni, use the uniform tool but i'm actually going to you know even out everything we want so i know it's looking you know kind of pinkish right now uh let's try to balance with the hue so this is actually looking purplish just a little bit saturation then we have this okay so let's go back let's just do a quick you can see not much of a difference but as a purple feel now let's go to the color balance the color balance mid-tone highlight so we want it to look more of you know this few kind of skin tone so we need to you know keep adjusting let's zoom out so we have yeah so i think that is actually okay with the um yellow feel i'm going to turn this one mid-tone so you need to, you know, make our skin look like it's a day or two. So just try as much as possible not to overdo it. See, don't don't go to the grains. Just a little bit, the shadows, skin tone. Okay, so I'll keep adjusting this till we have, you know, kind of this skin tone feel okay so this is i feel this is too much i'm going to back it down a little bit 
okay no not to the red part just to the you know yellow side okay so i'm going to zoom out and then we have this so we have just um this uniform skin tone unlike before we have this white and now we have this few so you can see before almost the same with the image uh, we can actually select the air i think i like the way the air looks right here you know saturated but let's see for selecting the air we actually select the face so let's give more structure to the air and then we do some other so new empty layer pick your magic tool and then select the air let's cut one new select what we have so one more thing we just need to just few 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 uh, other things and then we are going to carry to photoshop and then we are going to edit it so let's go back and then let's see hit m on the keyboard so the air has been selected uh we're just going to give it more you know let's go to the exposure tool and then let's see how we're going to bring up the saturation just back the way it is so let's see if we have that yeah just something close we won't push it too far pushing it too far okay so yeah makes uh clothes more beautiful uh, her face more beautiful so we have this i'm not just going to touch the lightness yet so i feel adding more contrast just a little bit like adding just a little bit of the contrast too so now let's work on the background so create a new let's just create a new few layer and then hit m on the keyboard so we see m and then i'm going to erase so this is something that is fast i don't want uh, capture one doing everything all the time so i'm just going to erase the subject with this tool okay so while we're doing this i want to you know make the background cue more saturation from the background to bring the subject out the more so something like that i'm just going to decrease the size of the brush and then i'm going to adjust this side also so you know but you can just because of the tutorial you can actually you know do things just the way you want it so we are actually going to you know correct some few steps of the image so let's go now hit m on the keyboard since we have this right here i'm going to hit m on the keyboard and then we're going to go to our exposure so let's decrease some saturation just like so it's too much just small and then brightness let it be darker just like so and then i'm also going to decrease the exposure too and then you can see just how it makes a difference big difference so just a little bit but we're actually even going to increase the saturation but i just want to decrease the saturation by five and then let's go to the shadows i'm actually going to create more contrast using the shadow the white so i'm going to bring up the white just by 13 decrease the shadows just like that too much so we have that just one or two and then let's see by decreasing the blacks okay it's actually affecting this side just because we didn't do we actually use the max to you know create the two so I'm just going to, you know, decrease the opacity of that layer, just like so. It's actually there, but not there. So I'm still going to decrease it just a little bit. And then we have this and before. So this is what we have so far. So from this to this, from this to this. For the jack jacket, let's see where we have the jacket. Uh, that's why it's actually good for you to you know rename so this is our jacket so i feel we are we need more just a little bit of saturation on the jacket okay two four 
so we have that on the jacket so this is what we have so far so if you like the we're going to stop here for the tutorial uh a quick before and after this is our before and this is our after so if you like the video no hit the like button and for more videos turn on the notification buttons if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next video don't forget to subscribe so thank you so much thank you so much